In this video, I'm going to introduce the method of integration by substitution. And this is part of the IB Math Applications and Interpretation course, the AI HL course. Okay, so this is inside of Calculus, which is our topic five, and this is part of Integral Calculus. Okay, so integration by substitution, this is a method or a technique of, of integration uh, that we need to use if our integral is a little bit more complicated than the standard integrals. And this, this method here is actually the exact opposite of the chain rule. When we, and when we remember the chain rule, when we were learning our differentiation rules, we actually need to do the opposite here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to introduce this via a function. Let's write the function up here on the top right. f of x, which is equal to, and let's write down a function, x squared plus 3 to the power of 5. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the derivative of this using the chain rule. We'll find the derivative, and then I'll show you how we can do the opposite and go get back to the original function uh, by using integration by substitution. Okay, so let's take the derivative. We know that the first derivative will be equal to, and the five comes down, we rewrite our bracket, x squared plus three, all to the power of four. We reduce the power by one. And then we need to multiply this by the derivative of what's inside of our bracket, which would be two x. Okay, so that's the chain rule, which hopefully we have learned to take the derivative. Now I can tidy this up. Our first derivative will be equal to, I'm going to multiply the five and the two x to become 10x at the front of x squared plus three, all to the power of four. Okay, so we have successfully found our first derivative. Let me highlight this here. Now what we should hopefully know is if we start with a function, and if we take the derivative, this is our derivative function, if we integrate this with respect to x, we should get back to our original function. And to integrate something that looks like this, we need to use a method, and the method is the integration by substitution. So that's going to be the question. What is the integral? This is the integral of 10x multiplied by x squared plus three, all to the power of four, and we want to find this integral with respect to x. And we know that we should get this answer up here, x squared plus three, all to the power of five, and if we're integrating here, we will have a plus c, a constant. Okay, so let's just say we are given this, and I'm going to show you how to integrate this with this method of substitution. What we want to firstly do is recognize that an integration by substitution question has some term in the integral, and its derivative is also somewhere in the integral. And as we can see here, it's not the exact derivative, it might just be out by some, some factor or some multiple, but x squared plus three, the derivative of x squared plus three is two x, and that is kind of at the front here. We have 10 x, but that's just five multiplied by two x. So once we notice there's some term, and its derivative is somewhere else in the integral, uh, we know that it's definitely integration by substitution. So let's take that original term that we know there is a derivative somewhere else. Let's take that and let that equal u, the letter u. So I'm going to say u is equal to x squared plus three. That's always the first step. After that, we want to take the derivative of u. So I'm going to say du dx. I'm going to take the derivative of u with respect to x. This will be equal to and the derivative of 2x plus 3, uh, x squared plus 3 is just 2x. And then an optional step that I, that I think students actually really like, and it makes the, the next uh, few steps here a little bit more simple, is trying to rearrange this. You'll have du dx equaling something. Try and rearrange this to get dx to be the subject. And that's quite easy. Just multiply the dx up onto the right-hand side and take whatever's on the right-hand side down onto the bottom left. And what we'll get is du over 2x is equal to dx. Okay, so once we have that, what we have is we have u equaling something and we have dx equaling something. I'm going to go back to my original integral and I'm going to rewrite my integral, but I'm going to put a big divided by sign here. Okay, so let's write down what we have. We have 10x, I'm just going to write 10x on my numerator. I have 10x. 
but then I'm going to stop. I'm not going to write in x squared plus 3 to the power of 4. Instead, I'm going to replace x squared plus 3 with u. I'm going to substitute this in. Okay, so let's, let's put in here u to the power of 4. And then once again, I'm not going to write dx. I'm going to write what dx is equal to. dx is equal to du on 2x. Okay, so let's put du on 2x. Now, once we get to this step here, if we've done everything correctly, all of the x's should cancel each other out. So as, as we can see, this x will cancel out with this x. The 10 cancels out with the 2 to be a 5. And I can rewrite my integral now as the integral of 5 multiplied by u to the power of 4. And this integral is with respect to u. We have this du here. And notice all of the x's are gone. And that's something that we are going to have to do in integration by substitution. The x's go, our integral is now in terms of u, and then eventually we'll go back to our answer in terms of x. Now, once we have this here, well, we can just integrate this using our normal technique of, of integration of uh, some variable to a power. We just raise the power by one. So let's put here equals. It's five multiplied by u to the power of five. We've raised the power by one and we divide by the new power. And then we put a plus c. So hopefully we have learned that. And what we can then see is the fives cancel out. We are simply left with u to the power of five plus c. And then finally, once we've integrated with respect to u, we can replace what u was uh, back into our answer. And we know that u was just a tool u was x squared plus 3, so let's put this back into our answer here. We will have x squared plus 3, all to the power of 5, and then we have plus c. And notice this was the original function up here. We had x squared plus 3, all to the power of 5, and we can see that we successfully uh, integrated this here by the method of integration by substitution. Okay, now to not make this video too long, I'm going to do one quick example and you can just follow along and, and I won't explain it as deeply as the first example, but let's say now we have, I want to find the integral of 12x over, and let's make this 3x, actually I don't need a bracket here, let's make this 3x squared plus 5 with respect to x. Okay, I'm just going to go through the steps. I'm going to notice that 3x squared plus 5, the derivative of this is 6x, which is almost on the numerator. So I definitely know that this is an integration by substitution question. I'm going to let u be 3x squared plus 5. I'm then going to take the derivative of u. See, so du dx is equal to 6x. And then I'm going to get dx to be the subject. So du on 6x is equal to dx. I'm going to rewrite my integral. I have my 12x on the numerator. On the denominator, I'm just going to put u. And then I'm going to replace dx with du on 6x. I will notice that all of my x's cancel out. x, x. The 12 cancels out with the 6 to become 2. So my integral now is the integral of 2 on u du and this is equal to 2 times the natural log of u and we can put these absolute value signs if we want to here plus c and then finally we can replace the u back in it'll be equal to 2 times the natural log of and u was 3x squared plus 5 plus c okay so that's another example of integration by substitution so in summary this is a method of integration where we might have x's multiple places uh, in our integral uh, and we need to let something equal u. We need to find the derivative of u. And then if we get dx to be the subject, we can rewrite our integral. We will notice that our integral has changed to now to be a new variable u and it's going to be a much simpler integral. And then once we find the integral, we can replace the u back in. Okay, so hopefully now you can take away this knowledge and you can try some integration by substitution questions. Good luck.